Spend a day with me as a media member at the NFL Combine. And I'm not sure why I made that face into the camera. But anyway, got up around 9 o'clock because it was a late night last night. Lucas Oil Stadium was right outside my hotel. But the Indiana Convention Center is where most of everything goes down. And it is the most mammoth building I've ever been in in my life. There was even another convention, the Gasoline Alley Expo, whatever that means, going on at the same time where there's thousands of people from the NFL in this convention center. This side of the media room is where all of the NFL media departments are set up. On the other side of that ballroom are five podiums where GMs like Quesi Adolfo Mensa of the Vikings and Brandon Bean of the Buffalo Bills, along with coaches, and then eventually a lot of prospects will talk. Their CBS Sports set up, uh, their podium, their stage looked really nice, I gotta say. Then I made the long walk back, and when I say long, I mean really long, back to the other main media room, which is in a gigantic ballroom, to work a little bit before I had an appearance on the Giants live show. Um, it's always fun talking with those guys. And then I recorded a podcast with Matthew Collar on the Vikings. Went back to the main media room. So I was getting in some exercise today to work on a mock draft that is probably up right now at CBS Sports. Go check that out. Then as a big intermittent fasting guy, I realized I had not eaten yet. So I went to go get dinner and then stopped at the main hotel jw marriott where you need to be if you're an indie for the combine but i was there way too early so i went over to prime 47 the main steakhouse and jerry jones bus was just parked right in front i feel like that happens every year though right in the middle of the street went back to the jw marriott saw a lot of people i knew in the media industry it was a lot of fun networking got back to my hotel right before 11 o'clock and we are back at it tomorrow